Hi guys, Jeremy Hood here. I uh, kind of want to get straight to the point, not waste your time on this video. These are some Radio Shack plug and play modules. They're also called X10 modules. This is for uh, the lamp module. This is the appliance module. I've already written on here because I've already made the change, but the problem is they allow about 0 0.08 watts through even when they're off in order to detect when you turn on and off the uh, switch for the lamp then the module activates and turns itself on or for the appliance if you turn the switch on and off on the device itself that's plugged in that tells the module to come on that's called the local control so the problem is when you have a low wattage system like LED bulbs or compact fluorescent bulbs those bulbs stay on because of that 0.8 watts because they barely take any wattage so this video is to show how you would modify each of these to turn off that local control and to kill that 0.8 watts so they actually turn off all the way this information is available online but it wasn't in a very nice format so I thought I'd put together a little video and try and help out so what I'm doing is or what I have done is I took the, the two, each of these is held together by two screws. One of them's right there, one of them's right there. And I took those two screws out already because I'm going to try to do this one handed. And then you have to pop open this device from the top, the side that goes into the outlet, and then open it up. And on the bottom, there are little clips that hold it. So that's what was holding that together. So for the lamp module, then this guy just pops out. There's no screws holding it in or anything. Except that it's challenging one-handed. <laughs> so this is the lamp module. There are three things you have to disconnect. In my case, I just took my Swiss Army knife and cut them. One of them is the D10 diode. Uh, D, I guess, stands for diode, but this little thing right here. And that little silver wire, uh, that's what I cut. And then this is the R3 resistor. So R for resistor, I cut that one. And then the third thing is the R6 resistor, which is this guy right here. So I cut that as well. And I also kind of moved them apart to make sure they don't make any connection. So one, two, three cuts. And that disables the local control and gets rid of that low uh, wattage, voltage, whatever. Uh, and this is for the lamp module. Okay. Then this, oh, there we go. Put that cover. Oops, that little thing popped out. I'll put that in later. This is the appliance module. The equivalent change on this guy. There are two things you need to cut. One of them is this diode right here. You see that silver wire? The diode is a black cylindrical thing with a gray stripe on it. That needs to be cut and separated a little bit. And then there's a jumper, which is just a wire that connects two things right in there. Right. This is a capacitor. Don't touch that. I don't know what this is, but don't touch it. Or maybe that's a resistor. I'm saying the wrong thing. And I think this might be a capacitor. But anyway, that jumper right in there, that little tiny jumper, that's what you want to cut right there. Oh, there we are. That's a good picture. You see that? how that guy's cut? That's what you want to cut and separate them. So just those two things. So three things on the lamp module, two things on the appliance module, <clears throat> and then... I don't know if this might be helpful, but I figured I'd forget in about three seconds that I had done this, so I wrote mod for modified for low wattage. Okay, I have tested both of these, and they appear to work as far as I can tell. The on-off switch, the remote on-off still works. The local control does not work anymore. Uh, and then low wattage uh, devices still turn off completely. So LED lights are completely off. They don't flicker. They don't anything compact fluorescent all the way off. They don't flicker, nothing. So I hope this helps you guys. Enjoy. Bye.